In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add background music to OBS for live streaming. And at the same time, I'm going to show you how to control it, make sure it's not too loud and how to monitor it, obviously, because if you can monitor it, then it could be a mess on your live stream. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. What's going on guys? My name is Sam the Production Tips and Tools here helping you master live streaming. So let's go ahead and actually open a fresh copy of OBS that should look like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go to the first scene and add the first, the very first scene that you should have when open OBS. So what we're going to do is we have this scene called camera that I already named the camera. And we're gonna go ahead and actually add the very first scene that you see or you need to have when you go live, which is a welcome scene. Uh, for your case, could be a countdown timer, depends on what you want, okay? But for now, I'm just gonna use an image, okay? And I'm gonna call it welcome scene. Again, this could change depending on what you're trying to do, okay? So make sure, feel free to customize it the way you want. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and browse, bring in an image, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and actually go to my desktop and bring in some image here that I have. So once we have this welcome scene, again, we don't have to add the camera for now, okay? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go Go ahead and go under sources again and i'm gonna hit the plus sign and we got what we're gonna do we're gonna add some music okay so i'm gonna go here where it says media source okay this is what we're gonna be using so we're gonna add the media source and i'm gonna call it music and i'm gonna hit okay so what you need to do is you need to make sure you check this loop thing so to make sure the music keeps looping in case you need to kind of keep playing and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit browse go to my music folder i've got some music here from epidemic sound and pick one of the songs let's go ahead and pick this one hit open and then hit okay and now as you can see my music should be playing actually right now okay as you can see as i click to it we have different like controls like to pause it to stop it or if you want you can even use this little bar here to kind of move forward and backwards so like you can control it you have all the controls that you want okay however what you need to do is you want to make sure you also control the volume as you can see i can control the volume Again, when you're starting out, if you're not talking over it, it's not a problem. You can actually keep it around maybe minus four. Uh, you don't want to have it too loud either, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to monitor it in a moment. So next thing we're gonna do, I'm going to actually add my actual image, my camera, so that I can show you how to control the background music. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus on the scenes, and I'm gonna call this one main camera, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Gonna go ahead under sources hit the plus sign and go to video capture device for this one again i'm gonna say main camera and then hit okay and then for this one because i am already using my camera in another program may not show up in streamlabs but your camera should show up here as you can see i have multiple inputs i have my obsolete tiny 2 camera which is a webcam but it's being used in another program so i'm gonna go ahead and actually choose the streamlabs desktop virtual webcam which is the same camera that i'm using in streamlabs again for your case it would just gonna be either it could be your 8 mini pro whatever camera you have plugged in it's gonna show up here so i'm gonna go ahead i don't have to do much for resolution i'm gonna go ahead and choose custom and then i'm gonna go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080p and then video format you can leave it any and then for fps we're gonna go ahead and choose 30 frames per second and everything else we leave it the way it is and as you can see you got my image inside obs okay so what we need to do now we have our music here and before we add our music to this scene we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add my microphone as well so what we need to do same scene and then go to audio input capture and then let's call it mic and then hit okay and then under device we're gonna go ahead and find my microphone that i'm using right now so again you're gonna go ahead and find whatever microphone that you have plugged in for me i use the roadcaster duo it's the interface connected to my microphone okay it's actually here and i'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and as you can see my microphone is in here okay so we have our mic we have our main camera and we have our music on scene number one again for the scene number one i'm gonna go ahead and uh, name it welcome so it's not confusing so this is our welcome scene this is our main camera so now the next step which is super super crucial is 
we're going to actually add on our main camera some background music okay the idea is when we are talking to have a little bit of background music playing okay so what we're gonna do now we're going to add music on this scene okay so what we need to do is we're gonna go to our main camera again make sure it's selected go under sources hit plus sign and then we're gonna go to media source okay if we want it we can add the same music all we need to do is we need to add existing and we're gonna add the same music that we played at the intro but again i will advise you to add a different track because if you add the same music sometimes what happens sometimes when you control the volume on the main music is going to affect everywhere on all the scenes okay another thing is sometimes your intro music is gonna be different sometimes it's gonna be a little more aggressive while when you're talking you probably want something a little slower a little you know kind of that's going to blend in with, you, with your voice okay so what we need to do here is we're gonna say let's call it background music okay so add new and then hit okay and then we want to make sure it loops so we check the loop thing and then we're gonna go back to our music i'm gonna go ahead again again just pick a random song let's go ahead and actually pick this one hit okay and then hit okay here so as we can see now we have our background music here okay so what we need to do because our background music is gonna be super loud we need to go here and actually lower it make sure it's really not loud because you're gonna be talking so you don't want the music to kind of overpower you okay but i'm gonna show you how to actually make sure you get it right okay so now we have everything we have our welcome scene and then we have our main camera and we have our music and the camera and everything the last step which is super super crucial is to actually make sure you can hear the music okay so when you do this kind of things you want to make sure you have some sort of headphones to be able to monitor your music and know what's going on okay so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to monitor music and know how loud it is actually so right now we're gonna go we're gonna start with the welcome scene okay so what you need to do you need to go to uh, under audio mixer and right click to it and then go to advanced audio properties okay and then what you need to do you need to go here where it says music okay so for music you need to go here where it says monitor audio monitoring and under audio monitoring you want to make sure you check monitor and output okay that way the audio is going to be monitored so you can hear it and it's also going to be playing on the stream okay so once you have this uh, all you gotta do is click okay or close okay and right now i should be able to hear the music in my headphones All right, so we can go ahead and actually pause it. No problem if you want. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is now we can change, uh, let's say we change the scene. So the music is supposed to stop, okay? And then what we need to do now, we are on the main camera scene. Same thing we gotta do is we have to make sure we can actually hear the music because right now I can't hear it. I'm gonna go here, go under advanced audio properties. And as you can see, I've got everything. I've got my background music, I've got my main camera and I've got my mic, okay? And what I need to do is you go to audio monitoring. Again, you don't wanna monitor your own voice unless you wanna do it for the sake of testing right now i have my roadcaster do it that's how i'm actually able to hear or to monitor my, my microphone in real time if you try to monitor it through obs you're gonna start having some issues because there's gonna be a major delay and it's gonna be distracting unless you just do it for testing and you turn it off okay to do that you will do the same thing you can go to mic and then go to monitor and output and you're gonna be able to actually monitor it and output to the stream but again i don't advise you to do it but for now for the background music all we gotta do is you need to go to audio monitoring and hit again do the same thing do monitor and output okay and hit close and right now i should be able to monitor my background music so right now it's playing if i increase the volume loud okay but again because i'm actually i'm streaming so assuming i'm streaming i'm talking i want to make sure the background music is there but it's kind of settled something like this so when i'm quiet you know 
people can hear a little bit of music and I can add a little bit of it, something like this. Something like this, all right? Which is different from the welcome scene. The welcome scene, I can actually keep the volume really high because on the welcome scene, I'm not talking, it's just welcome. You know, again, you can choose any type of music. This is just for the demo. Go to the main, zero, not too loud, and it's amazing. So now that we have the music, the next thing is to really make sure your OBS settings are great, depending if you're gonna be live streaming on YouTube or Facebook and actually be able to go live. However, there's one problem. If you're using this kind of music on your stream, one, you own the rights to the music, two, you wanna make sure you have the licensing needed for streaming that music. If you don't, you may get in trouble, your stream may be taken down or it can actually be muted, which is something that you don't want it to happen. And the worst case scenario, you can even get a copyright strike from YouTube or any other platform that you may be streaming on. So to avoid that, you want to make sure you check my next video where I'm going to show you three different websites where you can download legally music from and be able to use them on your stream without having any copyright issue. And the video is going to be linked right here. So make sure you check it out and I'll see you there guys. Take care.